All right, this video is going to be about how um, electrons and ions are take part in conducting electricity in metals. Okay, so metals are unique among materials because what they have what are called metallic bonds. And a metallic bond basically is a bunch of electrons that are not belonging to any one specific um, ion, um, but they're shared. And sometimes the way they're shared is called referred to as the electron C. So instead of having electrons tightly bound to a single atom, these electrons are shared throughout um, the metal by um, a bunch of positive ions. So, um, as you probably know, uh, in electricity, when electricity is conducted through a wire, electrons are the positive are the charge carriers. Um, you may not know, however, that the positive ions um, don't move. So, if this is a cross section of a wire here, and I have an electron right here, this electron will move from the negative terminal of the battery or whatever I'm dealing with through the wire, through some path, not necessarily a straight line as you would expect, to the region of high potential, the positive terminal, because electrons, as you know, are negative, and so they're attracted to um, the positive terminal. The electric field in a circuit in a wire points positive to negative, just like anything else like we've dealt with in the past. And so we say that the electric current moves in the direction of the electric field. And we say that the direction that the electrons actually move, or whatever um, charge carrier we're dealing with, uh, moves is called the drift direction. So that's the speed that the electrons are going to move inside the wire. Um, we refer to this movement of charge as electric current. Um, we call, we measure this electric current in units called amperes, and we define, or we don't define exact, uh, we we say that current is the amount of electric charge passing a point in a circuit in a amount of time. Okay? And so if we wrote this mathematically, we'd show I, which is our symbol for current in this class, I is standing for current, is equal to the amount of charge that passes through the, the wire divided by the amount of time it takes. And we say that one ampere is equal to one coulomb of charge passing through the wire, or some section of wire in one second. So if we wanted to illustrate this, if all of these black dots up here represent one coulomb of electrons worth of charge, and this amount of electrons passes through point P up here, we would say that if it did that in one second, we would say that was one ampere worth of charge. Okay. Um, the speed that the electrons or whatever charge carrier we're talking about moves in the wire is called the drift speed. And we can calculate the drift speed um, based on this equation. So if I look at a cross section of wire and I have n number of electrons or n number of some kind of charge carriers per volume. Um, and I wanted to calculate um, the speed here. What I would do, we'll start by thinking about what the volume of this wire is. So I would say that the volume is equal to the cross-sectional area times the length that the electrons are going to move in a second. And I'll say that's equal to V. So if I say this area, which is a circle, times height v, what I would get is this volume of a cylinder. All right? And so my letter n up here represents the number of charge carriers in this volume. So if I were to multiply my volume times n, 
what I would get is the number of charge carriers that was contained in this volume. And if I were to multiply this amount times the charge of each charge carrier, what I would get would be the total charge per volume that I have. Now if I set this equal to the current, because this, if you remember, this is the length that it's going to move in one second, I can do that. So if I put this equal to my current, I can then solve for V, which will be my drift speed. So I is equal to well, I over A and Q is equal to our drift velocity. So if we wanted to find the speed that the charge carriers are moving in the wire, we can use that equation. And there's an example um, 